What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? I'm learning history through my MP3 player. That's right, I can absorb history on the go. Today, I talk with a few people who helped make that possible. Let's go. Uh, my name is Dave Schrader. I'm the host of Darkness Radio, one of the longest running paranormal themed radio shows. You keep an archive available of your interviews mm -hmm. with all these, the, the, with the, the guests, mm -hmm. and people can go back and use them as a research. Hans Holzer, one of the, you know, the, the godfathers of the paranormal field and, and the writings that he did, that's what kind of helped break me into my interest. We were his final interview. Wow. So you have people like that that had come on the show and um, uh, Peter James, the famous psychic medium uh, who worked out at the Queen Mary, we were one of his final interviews. So it's important to keep those voices alive so people can hear the interview that uh, may never have had a chance to hear these speakers before they're passing. Whether there are people who believe or not believe, mm -hmm. it's there's more to it than just the paranormal. This is a history, there is a cultural history. There are, something's happening. <laughs> right. The woo-woo factor is cool, and that's the entertainment part. Yeah. But it's a great way to spoon feed people history and, and educate them without them realizing it. <laughs> We've always said that our show is to educate, enlighten, but entertain. So if you make people laugh, you make people scared, you make people think, it sticks in their mind a lot better than just dry history. It, it almost makes it accessible. Mm -hmm. to a large number of people who normally wouldn't think of it as history. You know, in, in all aspects, you know, aside from just ghosts and UFOs and Bigfoot, we cover weird conspiracies, and we cover medical conspiracies on our show. And you give it a term like medical conspiracy, um, and we talked about cancer, and we did a one-hour show on cancer. Wow. And people told me they learned more about what cancer was in that one hour than they'd known their entire life. Well, thank you very, very much sure. for talking with us. Thank you for listening, and thank you for passing it on. <laughs>Christopher Scarborough. Um, I perform Sideshow and uh, I'm one half of uh, the Curioso podcast. Uh, I'm Joe Taylor. I'm an artist, a musician, and the other half of the Curioso podcast. I feel like we should high five or something. Are you cool with that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. we, can, we can do that. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is the Curioso podcast? Well, uh, a Curioso is someone who uh, who is into curious things. There's all kinds of uh, all kinds of knowledge out there, and we like to bring that to people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the topics you have talked about? A lot of cryptozoological things, uh, gremlins vampires, and then we've gone into old alcohols and drinks like shrubs and switchels and absinthe. Uh, we've even Applejack. 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 Um, it's just anything we find interesting and obscure. What's the process going into doing one of these podcasts? I, I think typically we really start out with a subject that we have either heard on another podcast or we just happen to know about from history. Uh, and then sometimes things get sent in from listeners. Usually about a week's worth of research. Okay. Uh, and then we sit down and each episode probably takes about an hour, two hours to actually go through and talk about everything. Okay. What makes you different than say a show like uh, Coast to Coast I Am? We're both skeptics. I okay. Think. And we entertain the idea that it could be possible because if you follow the the lineage of you know a myth a legend uh, you know you can find those little points where there was a grain of truth but then you can see where it degrades into just you know a myth just a, a you know puff of smoke and the, the truth is now gone I, I think we see things in in a a certain light that kind of gives it some some levity okay you know, so it's not too serious it's, yeah it's not this side or that side we kind of skirt the middle where we can be a little skeptical we can make a little fun and but also bring in the facts and the lineage of a story a myth a creature or something one of my favorite episodes was the mothman episode yeah. because you went through and you did the history 
mm-hmm. the known history. Yeah. You did the possible supernatural aspects. Mm-hmm. And then you went and did, or it could be this, and it was the skeptical side. Right. And then you took it one step farther and said, regardless of all this, how has it impacted our culture? Yeah. The Curioso Podcast is not the only podcast out there for you to learn about history. Want to know about weird medical history? Listen to Saw Bones, weird history left out of your textbook? Then look for Stuff You Missed in History Class. History of Pirates? Well, that's also the name of a podcast where you can learn just that. Or do you just want to be surprised from episode to episode and don't really want a general theme? Then look up Stuff You Should Know. Now, how do you walk that line? For anybody that's trying to do research on their own onto a subject um, that does, at first glance, seem a little bit more fantastical or myth-like. A lot of cross-checking the the facts. If you you have a certain date, time, or thing that you're looking at, especially on the internet, you, you have to look at it from a different site or, you know, you try to find the historical documents or something. Okay. There, there are ways. You do have to do a bit of work yeah. to, to, to find out the real information. And with us, I personally like to think that we mention it and let the listener decide. If somebody wants to listen to your podcast, where should they go to listen to it? Uh, well, thecurioso.com is our website. You can go to iTunes and type in The Curioso. Uh, we're also on Stitcher. 